you know, we, um, you know, switched over to special teams and uh, we punted. And I kind of went to the sideline and, and got a drink of water, no big deal, and um, everything was normal. And then, you know, within a couple seconds, I knew something was bad. I saw, you know, the other player coming across and uh, hit my brother. Chance for a return. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. And the first, you know, thing I thought right away was the fact that, oh, he just, you know, got a blindsided type hit, and he'll get up. You know, he just got his ball run. And I knew he took a hard hit, and uh, I was running out to him, and uh, he was taking some steps and just collapsed right before I got to him. I start pulling on his jersey. I'm like, come on, Dave, get up. And then I looked at his face, emotionless, nothing. I'm thinking... Is he unconscious? What's wrong? After a few minutes, I knew it was pretty serious. And, uh, you know, once I went out in the field and seen everything, and I knew right away I had to get a hold of my family. They get out a defibrillator, and you think, that's it. And then they they hit him. They said they, got, they found a pulse, and they carded him. They gave us a thumbs up. Everyone starts clapping. We say a prayer. I head out with my buddies to the hospital. As soon as we pull in, guy got there before me and said he's gone. First thing his mom walked out when she walked out of the emergency room. Uh, she said that you know he had two loves, and that was uh, the love of playing for the Panthers and the love of his daughters. And she. Uh, she tried to hold it together and started breaking tears and she said, said at least he died doing what, something he loved. It, it is hard for me to be here because I'm conflicted with both feelings of the loss of my son and the pride in the son that's still living. <laughs> um, but I have to support Anthony, and I need to show my other children that, that that structure is still, you know, still there. It's something that's not going to stop. I mean, football's gonna continue to be football, and, and hits are gonna continue to be hits, and they're gonna be harder. And over the years, you know, I'm gonna have kids someday that I'm gonna want to play football. And I feel like I have to have my family here to see that. And once they see me get in there and play a little bit, maybe it'll keep their mind off of what happened with my brother. So that's not the last thing that they remember about football. I hope today that I'm showing that support by being here and um, possibly showing um, other folks that know what we have went through that uh, as a family we still support Anthony and we still support the game. Weekend Warriors is what they call us. Uh, we think all week we're from 9 to 5 or whatever our jobs are, we're out there trying to support our families. We do this for the love of the game. We're not making no money. Every, every snap you could break a leg, you could get paralyzed, you could lose your job, you could have what happened to Dave happen, but you can't let that stop you. If you love football, you gotta, you gotta drive. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah, put the press back on. Let's go. Every time I step on the field, I'm happy. It makes me happy. It makes everything worth practice. Like everything we sacrifice, you know, it's all worth it at the end of the day. Good game, man. My brother was watching every one of you guys play. It means a lot. We give our hearts, our souls to this game. This game is more than any one of us standing or sitting here right now. It's more. It's football. You know, it keeps us together through the thick and thin. We put our families aside. We put everything aside to play hard. And I respect everyone you guys playing today, man. And all you guys, you know, every day just, just tell your family you love them. Because you never know, man, when the man upstairs is going to say it's your time. <laughs>